Right now at five, there is a black bear on the loose in Franklin. Check out this video. A viewer mm. sent us when he saw it this morning. Stephanie Haynes joins us live right now. And Stephanie, you need to keep your head on a swivel. Steve, definitely. I'm here at 60th and Ride, and Marco Lopez was driving to work early this morning when he spotted the bear right here behind me. Now, if you live around here and you see that bear, do not approach it. Instead, back away slowly and get to a safe place. Wow. Un oso aquí en Franklin. Marco Lopez couldn't believe his eyes when he spotted this black bear near 60th and Ryan. He was driving to work early Tuesday morning, and he said people didn't believe him until they saw this video he captured from his car. You saw it yeah. with your own eyes and on your phone and shared it. I know. <laughs> David Hughes of Dallar Transit saw the video on social media and realized the bear was right next to his office. When I seen uh, Pines, I was like, yeah. oh, wow, it's right in front of our company. And you know, I would have never thought a bear would yeah. be uh, like around our, uh, yeah. our business park yeah. here. David went back through his security footage but never saw the bear. Franklin police showed up to investigate. David thinks the bear came from the woods behind his lot, which backs up to the Root River. The Milwaukee County Sports Complex is near the intersection, but the area is mainly forest and businesses. The DNR is asking people who live nearby to remove bird feeders and get rid of any spare seed. Also, to lock your garbage cans up, anything to avoid attracting the bear. The DNR says bears are most common up north, but some have been moving south lately and that's why there have been an uptake in sightings. And they believe people are seeing more than one bear. If you do see a bear, the DNR says, do not go near it and do not run away. Instead, back away slowly and get to a safe place. From there, you can wave your arms and make noise to try to scare it away. Marco wants people to be safe. It's, uh, it's scary for the people walking in the trail. The DNR is in contact with Wildlife Services in case the bear needs to be removed from this area safely. In Franklin, Stephanie Haynes, TMJ4 News. Do not approach the bear. That is solid <laughs> advice. Stephanie Haynes, thank you. No problem.